Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rad here from Rad Tarot and this is going to be Virgo Sun, Virgo Moon and uh, Virgo Rising monthly tarot reading for February 2019 and uh, while I'm shuffling the cards um, I want to remind you once again guys that this is going to be a, a general reading for Virgo star sign and uh, for that reason uh, in this video I will try my best to explain you the meanings of the cards and their synergy in the spread but the reading is going to resonate in a different level with uh, every single different Virgo. So um, as I'm going to give a, a few examples here in this video and align the cards with those examples that is uh, you will have to do the same thing with, uh, with your situation and the cards that I'm drawing. If you want me to do that for you or uh, to analyze your situation through tarot <clears throat> and to give you a prediction for it, that is a, a subject of a personal reading. And uh, for personal readings, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you're going to find a, a full list of my services as well as their pricing. And oh my god, I don't know what's going on with February, but February is going to be quite of a passive month now. Not just for you, Virgo, but for all for much of the rest that I have done readings uh, thus far. And uh, just from the overview of those uh, of those cards, it does look like that you guys are going to be with uh, left with efficiency. I think is the word. So uh, just to give you an example of that. Um, not with deficit, but with the contrary of the deficit. It's efficiency, I think. So you will have more than you can... Uh, let, let me give it that way. You will have more than you can spend and you will have to think of a way how to invest this more than you can spend that you do have, either emotionally wise, materially wise, and etc. etc. To give you an example, you may decide for yourself that you need more friends, you know, and that is more than you can spend. And so uh, that could be a, a month for you for socializing. Uh, it will involve uh, other people People, that's for sure we do have here the two of cups at the end where you are finally making the contact of your life it could be a loved one it could be as well you know a, a, a business one but the thing is that here you are going to show um, that that is the topic the ten of pentacles is that you were going to show your independency that's the first thing and independency always earns respect as well as you're going to show how much you can give uh, to the world regardless is that going to be business wise or relationship wise as well I mean you for example you may uh, show to the world that you can give a lot of love and that imminently is going to attract love uh, by your side either into existing relationship or either into a, a new one that again depends on your personal situation but the thing is that you need to start thinking of how you can capitalize on the blessings that you already have because the ten of pentacles here is pointing that you can give so much more to the world so the world can give you so much to you in return the additional card to the ten of pentacles this is going to be the queen of pentacles and additionally to that these cards are strongly advising you to turn on your family or the closest circle that you uh, that you have so whatever you can give guys uh, that first <clears throat> the first of those investments or the very yeah the very first of those investments needs to go into the already existing close circle of yours additionally to that the queen of pentacles here with the ten of pentacles is pointing that as I said you are not utilizing your maximum potential and you have to start thinking of how this can be done and now uh, when we go to the second card which is showing the best possible approach to the situation, I will explain you according to tarot cards how this could be done. But here, uh, these cards could very well as well speak for a reconciliation. I'm, and I mean, I'm serious about that. These both cards are uh, very favoring for repairing a remnants from the past. And if we're talking about romantic relationships, your partner, if ex-boyfriend for example or ex-girlfriend if they uh, betrayed your trust back in the days probably they will come around once again and they will try to make it up for it all right they will try to show you that you still have future together now should you give them a chance 
that depends entirely on you. You know, what tarot points is the circumstances which are to happen. Should you take advantage of that? That is entirely your decision. <clears throat> but the thing with these cards is that you have, as I said, so much more heights that you can conquer. And uh, basically this month of February, you have to start thinking of, you know, wh which of those heights are the ones that you need to prioritize first and how you can do so i mean how you can capitalize on all the blessings that you do have we have the four of swords with the death card so uh basically you need to approach uh it's not even approaching but <clears throat> you have to surround yourself with a uh, with your faithful companions of yours people that does not have jealousy towards you that is very important so these people have to be very objective true friends if i may express myself that way so they can um they can give you their uh independent uh independent or independable uh opinion opinion which does not depend on their jealousy it is what i'm trying to say here you know what is going to be uh, the best course of action additionally what the four of uh, swords gives you as an alternative here you know is to spend the month in uh in quietness in a sense of that you should not seek provocation with uh, people that aggravate you for example you should not seek opening issues as well and creating problems and dramas overall the death card here i uh, does uh, represents the change in one's habits or the change in one's approach toward uh toward the blessings here that one has and that change of approach is instead of being uh ignorant for the advice of others like i said and uh, do whatever you think it's best you can still do that all right but it is always better if you consult yourself as i said with faithful companions and seek for uh, their um, objective opinion additionally these cards could point that you finally need to turn your look at a, a professional opinion as well so in case these are for example a, a financial blessings that you do have so you have a lot of money all right and you are wondering where to invest well these cards are asking you to this time around instead of consulting yourself with uh uh, unprofessional opinions you have to change the subject here and to consult yourself with a business or a financial advisors if you have what so much more room to grow into your relationship but you don't know how to do it you know maybe it's time to consult with a uh, couples therapy it will be something unconventional uh, for you something that you would usually not think of or you are feeling reluctant to uh, to take as any uh, option available to do because uh, either for shyness you know many couples are not going for example into a couple therapy because they are shy to admit that there is a problem or that there is a still um, unresolved potential into their relationship and they cannot find a way how to do it i mean couples therapy does not mean that you have to go there just because your relationship isn't going on very well i mean couples therapy could be executed in a way that you can improve your relationship with it even if your relationship is going very very smooth or the very least to breed confidence into that relationship if not anything else <clears throat> the next card that we do have for you uh, here of Virgo that will be the six of pentacles and this is the challenges here which are causing predicaments the accompanied card of it this is going to be the hangman here and it does look like that some of the things that you will have to uh that you will have to do or rather like some of the investments that you would like to do if i may express myself that way they will need their time what i mean is here that just because you have the idea to do something it will not mean that you can do it straight away the very least what these cards are pointing is that you may need the approval or someone or approval of the circumstances themselves for example you want to go um and uh i don't know you want to go to the beach in a, some uh, foreign country, for example, in England, all right? You love England and you want to go there on the beach. Well, you can't do that during winter, right? So it's kind of like there will be a circumstances or a people that will need their um, 
approval or a green light or can, how can I place it favorable uh, alignment so you can um, you can do whatever here uh, you are planning to be the best out of you which is going to by the way expand your environment big way I mean you are going to sprawl either business or either relationship wise but again you should not be very hasty here and at the very least you should consult yourself with a good friends of yours people that does not have a, a drop of jealousy against your uh, your blessings additionally what these cards here are pointing the six of pentacles and the hangman is that things are going to be how can I place it um very well predecided all right it's kind of like a, a, a funnel that uh, once you get in uh, there won't be much room for you to maneuver so you have to be um, uh, in case you go here with investments either emotionally or financially wise and again guys we're talking about here circumstances should you take them or not again it's entirely your choice if you decide not to make any investment whatsoever February is gonna make no difference for you whatsoever but if you decide to do so you have to be ready to follow a certain code of conduct here a certain rules a certain privileges that needs to be uh, accomplished first before these investments to be returned um, for example uh, you know you want to uh, invest into a business all right well that business has its rules and you have to obey those rules all right you cannot basically um, I don't know how to say it but to do whatever you want all right I mean whatever you decide to do there is a way how it needs to be done and you should follow that way and somewhat this specific a uh, um, this specific standpoint or rather like these specific circumstances of that you need to do what you know what has to be done instead of what you want to uh, in many in many situation is going to be a bit a little bit of a challenging to you um, for one or another reason May the main reason here is going to be because things are not going to happen with the speed you would like to all right but ultimately things are going to happen to you especially if you are going for emotional connection or especially if you are doing emotional investments and that is the advice of the next card here page of cups you with the tree of swords you gotta give your love what we do have here guys is a uh, a healing all right so you need to admit to yourself that you already that the wounds from the past are already healed and now you have to step outside and show your emotional state if I may express myself that way or that you want to be emotionally connected to someone or to something especially if that is a about reconciliation as we mentioned here you need to acknowledge that the wounds that you had suffered uh, from the past of the betrayal most likely or uh, the betrayal of trust from uh, from your ex are already healed and as well it's very important here to acknowledge to yourself that you also hurt them in some way all right so it's kind of like uh, tanto for tanto it's, uh, you both inflicted some damage, emotional damage to, uh, to each other and now uh, it, it will be advisable here with the, page of, uh, with the page of cups next to the tree of swords to think about what can be done in order to, uh, I cannot say repair that damage because this damage is already uh, kind of like resolved, I mean you already healed up from it. If you haven't uh, or you don't feel that you uh, that this damage is healed well this is because you are overthinking it basically the tree of swords is expresses up the pain which is inflicted by one's mind you should think about it and you basically cannot forget it and that is very important so you can feel emotionally happy here with the page of cups to kind of like drink through it if you have to you know sleep through it I don't know I will say another word through it but I don't want to because it's kind of like vulgar but uh, do what is necessary to suffer through it and just to forget about it and from there you know to reposition yourself in much more uh, emotionally advantageous uh, advantageous position which if not anything else is going to attract other people or other situations that you can chain yourself emotionally with because 
What is the other alternative is to shut down yourself emotionally and what the page says is that you are going to feel yourself miserable as you are not emotionally connected. Just like if you have watched the show Dr. House, the medical Dr. House, you know, he shuts down himself emotionally and he is miserable. He, he looks that he is happy, he is trying to convince the whole world that he is fine, but he isn't. He is miserable. So if you don't open yourself emotionally and acknowledge that past is past and nothing can be done to be repaired uh, the way you want it, but you can done something to improve your future emotionally, uh, then you are going to, uh, basically if you don't acknowledge that, uh, you risk to become uh, miserable for the near future. <clears throat> and the last what we do have, this is going to be the two of cups with uh, the ten of wands. So what these couple of cards here are uh, showing is that you can truly share your burden at the end. Uh, I said that this is going to be about partnership and that is about partnership guys. You have to regain back the faith into the human nature, right? Either business partnership or relationship partnership here. If you share your burdens your burdens will be halved. If you share your happiness, that will become double happiness. This is valid for either way. So if you are, for example, planning to invest into business, seek any business partner, all right? Seek an a investment a investor as well, someone who can um, kind of like share the responsibility and as well the weight and as well the benefits uh, with you all right and same goes for your uh for your relationship cycle here at the end show to the people that you can love uh you know uh connect yourself with someone because there will be someone that you can connect yourself with all right someone that is going to make your environment much more easier to bear uh, someone that is going to make your pain emotional pain much more easier as well to bear and when you are happy and be around that person that happiness is going to be doubled all right it's going to be um, yeah, doubled or exponentially increased, was I was uh, about to say. <clears throat> Important thing with the Two of Cups here is not to approach the situation with uh, with shyness, all right? But instead, you need to be uh, confident. And as well, when we talk about the Ten of Wands here, as the uh, Two of Cups completely, uh, not completely, but rather diminishes the burden of the Ten uh, of Cups. Also, these uh, couple of cards are pointing that there will be a lot of synergy in between you and that person or in between you and these uh, circumstances here. Synergy in a sense that you will share a lot of common things, a lot of common ideas, you know, a lot of common hobbies and etc, etc, or a lot of common ideas, especially if we're talking about private business. But the last thing again that you want to do here is to rely on your poignant previous experience and to be um, biased that this person is going to betray you as well or that your ex have not corrected themselves. According to these cards, they have. So that being said, Virgo, this was your uh, monthly tarot reading for um, February 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And uh, once again, this was a, a general reading for Virgo star sign. And uh, for that reason, I have explained you the meanings of the cards and as well their synergy in this spread. And as well, I gave you some examples to make my point more clearer. But at the end, uh, it uh, falls to you to align this reading to your personal situation for maximum accuracy. Now, if you want me to do that for you and to analyze your situation, just like I did for the examples in this video, well, that is a subject of a personal reading. And for personal readings, you can check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you are going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricing. Rod signing out now. See you next time. Bye.